Today's challenge is going to be a difficult one. I just thought I would get that out of the way to start off with. There's a story from many, many years ago from the Hatfields and the McCoys, and these two families fought forever and ever and ever. Bloody bat battles, battles where they were fighting, battles where they would shoot one another. They actually ended up killing one another as far as neighbors went. And it all started over a pig. And you know what stopped it? At least in parts of the family was a marriage between one of the Hatfields and one of the McCoys. And today, I actually have one of the Hatfields who attends my church, so I know a lot of the story. But this day is gonna be difficult for this reason. You are gonna be challenged day through James to love somebody you may not always love or you may have a struggle with. Here's James chapter two, verse eight, and it says, if you really keep the royal law found in scripture, love your neighbor as yourself, you are doing right. When is the last time you went out to do something for your neighbor just to do something for your neighbor? I'm just gonna give you a quick challenge here, something I would love for you to do. I would love you to find a reason to go out to do something positive for your neighbor. Go out and take their trash out, take their trash cans back, paint something for them, rake their yard, mow, whatever. Something small, something big, something to just do for your neighbor out of the reason of love. Just because Christ did that for us. See, we this week are looking at our actions accompanying our faith. And so when they ask you, why would you do something like that? Why did you choose something like that to do for me? You can tell them it's the right thing to do. Why? Because that's what Christ did for me. Think about that. We'll talk more tomorrow.